Okay guys, um, Taylor here, back at it again for the Teacher T Anatomy 3 channel. Today we're going to go over the neuron. So I have one specific neuron model I'm going to go over. There are many other types out here, but here's the one we're going to go over today. So um, the first structure we're going to talk about for the neuron, which is this whole thing, is the cell body. So the cell body is this structure right here, and it's this whole thing with all these gray pieces and orange pieces coming off of it. So the gray and orange pieces coming off of it are not a part of it. This thing is the cell body, okay? Within the cell body, we have the nucleus, okay? We also have the cytoplasm of the cell body, which is known as the perikaryon, perikaryon. And then coming off the bottom of the cell body, we have this red fiery region known as the axon hillock. So that's where action potentials normally say do or die. Okay. These gray structures that are coming off of the cell body you can see here are dendrites. So those are receiving signal from the previous neurons. Okay. And the orange structures um, we'll talk about in a second. Okay. Those are actually coming from a previous neuron delivering signal to this specific neuron. So this neuron, the axon starts to go off the axon hillock here, then for some reason they chop it, and you can continue along and see the axon moving here, okay? So this all is the axon, it's chopped open right here, so you can see the mitochondria and all that. Um, so what are these orange things coming from the previous neuron? Right here is the telodendria or terminal branches. So that's where on the previous neuron, its axon started to fray at the end into these pieces called terminal branches or telodendria. And then at the end of each of them, they have a knob known as the synaptic knob or synaptic terminal. So that is what's actually gonna send neurotransmitter to the next neuron. So this is the next neuron, okay? So the synaptic knob is also known as a presynaptic cell or the whole neuron it's coming from is considered the presynaptic cell because it's sending neurotransmitter to the next neuron. So this neuron that is receiving signal through its dendrite in this case is the postsynaptic cell. Important to note though that the postsynaptic cell can receive signal through its dendrite, through its cell body, because you can see one right here, um, just attaching to the cell body instead of a dendrite, or it can receive signal through its axon as well. Okay, so in lecture, I'm sure you'll go over this, um, there's actually a microscopic um, little area between the synaptic knob and the dendrite, and it's called the synaptic cleft, okay, and that's where the neurotransmitter is actually projected across, okay. Lastly, we'll cover the neuroglia. Okay, neuroglia are helper cells, and so neuroglia actually outnumber neurons 10 to 1 in the nervous system. Crazy. There's a lot more help than the actual neurons. Okay, so where can we find them on this model? Okay, you see this guy right here, okay, this kind of purple structure right here, okay, embedded in this white stuff. This is going to be... Um, one of two things. So there's two types of neuroglia we're going to talk about. This is either going to be a Schwann cell or an oligodendrocyte. It depends what we're talking about. In the peripheral nervous system, the Schwann cells create these white structures. In the central nervous system, uh, the oligodendrocytes create these white structures. And these white structures are known as myelin sheath. And what they do is they wrap around the axons, whether it be in the peripheral nervous system or central nervous system, and they insulate the nerve fibers and allow signal to be transmitted quicker. So then we have two regions that you need to know, but now you know how to approach the material from these previous terms. Okay, So you have the axon running down here. When it's covered with the white material known as myelin sheath, it's known as the internode region. So you have an internode region here, okay? You have a gap, then you have another internode region here, and then another gap. So these gaps are nodes of Ranvier, and then the portions that where they do cover the axon, those are internodes, okay? So that's going to conclude this video, and good luck with the neuron, and please post comments below if you need help or if anything wasn't so clear. And have a good one. Good luck, guys.